Hello everyone. Today let's learn when to use the LSA and when to use the TSA when calculating areas of combinations of different solids. So in this example, we have a medicine capsule which is in the shape of a cylinder to which two hemispheres are stuck, see like this. And we have to find the total surface area of this capsule. So to find the surface area of this solid, which surfaces we have to consider, let's first check that out. Surely the two curved parts of the hemispheres, they are on the surface, so they will definitely be included. So let me write that curved parts of the hemispheres. And how many hemispheres are there? There are two of them. So I multiplied by two. Also the curved part of the cylinder that is also on the surface. So let us write that curved part of the cylinder. Okay. So these are on the outside. So they will be included. What about the flat regions of the hemisphere and the cylinder? Yes, they are inside the solid frame. So will they be included in the surface area? Definitely not. So the main guideline that we have followed here is include those surfaces which are outside the solid and exclude all the surfaces which are inside the solid. So friends, just remember this guideline for any type of question of this type and you will be able to easily solve it. So this is going to be the TSA of the solid. Now, which formula will perfectly give me the curved part of the hemisphere? Yes, it's going to be the CSA of the hemisphere. And I'm going to just multiply it by 2. Plus, can you tell me what will give me the curved part of the cylinder? Yes, CSA of the cylinder. So let us just now substitute all the formulae. CSA is nothing but, yes, 2 pi r square into 2 plus CSA of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. Now we already know what is the radius and the height. So let me just substitute the values and give you the final answer. So friends, the total surface area of the medicine capsule comes out to be 220 millimeter square. So to save the time, I've already done the calculations. You can check out the answer. In this example, we have a tent which has a cylindrical base and a conical top. We have to find the area of canvas needed to cover this tent. So in short, we need to find the area of this solid. Now again, let's use the guideline. Include those surfaces which are on the outside and exclude the surfaces which are inside. So the surface area of this solid is going to be, well, definitely the curved part of the cone that is outside, friends. So that will definitely be included. So curved part of the cone. Also the curved part of the cylinder, see that is outside. So we have to include it. So curved part of the cylinder. Now what about the flat part of the cone? See friends here, definitely that is inside, inside the solid. So definitely we don't have to include the flat part of the cone and the top flat part of the cylinder. See, both of them are inside the solid. Now the bottom flat part of the cylinder, that definitely occupies surface of the solid. So we have to include it, but we have to find the area of canvas needed to cover the tent. Now do we need to cover the bottom part of the cylinder, the bottom part of the tent? Definitely not because it is always on the ground. We just need to cover this curved part and this curved part. So for this particular question, we will not be including the bottom part of the cylinder. I hope you got the reason why. So these are the surfaces that we have to include. Now curved part of the cone, what formula will give you that? CSA of the cone and this will you will get from the CSA of the cylinder. That's it friends. It's very easy once you know the method to be followed. So CSA of the cone, yes, it's pi RL and CSA of the cylinder is going to be 2 pi RH. So let me just substitute and solve it. So the area of canvas needed to cover the tent is 44 meters square. Here is the last example. So we have a cube which is of size 7 cm and on top of it a hemisphere whose diameter is also 7 cm that is placed. Okay, And we have to find again the surface area of the final solid. So again let's apply the guideline that we have. Include surfaces which are outside exclude the surfaces which are inside. So that will be the surface area of the solid. Now definitely the curved part of the hemisphere that is outside. So let us write that. That will be definitely included. 
okay also all these five faces of the cube they are outside so even the fifth face although it is at the bottom it is still occupying a part of the surface it is outside so we have to include the five faces of the cube now is the sixth face completely hidden by the hemisphere no did you see these corner areas they are still visible they are outside so we need to include the corner parts of the sixth face of the sixth face. Now let's see what to do. The curved part of the hemisphere we will definitely get from the CSA formula of the hemisphere. Now there's no direct formula which will give you this particular area friends. See there's no direct formula but what we can do is first we'll find the TSA of the cube. That is we'll find the area of all the six faces and just subtract this circular area where the hemisphere is sitting. See so we have to minus the area of the circle, right? That will be the region which is not visible, which is inside. So friends, the hemisphere's CSA is nothing but 2 pi r square. The TSA of the cube is 6a square where a is the side of the cube minus the area of the circle is pi r square where this these two r are the same. They are the radius of the hemisphere. That's it. Let's solve this question. So friends, the area of this cube is going to be 332.5 centimeters square. So friends, I hope that this video has been useful to you. If so, please do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.